Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Calamity Deathbed. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I'm doing really, really well uh, because mostly because of the amount of support you guys have been showing for this series. Thank you so much. And of course, guys, once again, continuing on with a thousand likes per episode and we'll continue on with the daily episodes throughout the week. Now today, my friends, I would really like to try and battle Queen B. Now a lot of you guys have been saying, and quite correctly so as well, that uh, probably taking her down at the surface would prove a lot more beneficial than if we try to take her down in her natural habitat inside the hives. So, yeah. The only thing is, of course, uh, the jungle we have is a little bit bugged out, but it's not too much of a worry. We can, like, start exploring down here or something. Basically, all we're looking for is a bunch of honey. We need honey blocks, and we need honey inside of bottles. So, you know, it shouldn't be that difficult to do. Do we have ourselves some bottles in here, actually? Let's just have a quick look. Uh, wait, no. Uh, I keep forgetting it's, uh, it's case sensitive, isn't it? There we go. Just uh, just regular bottles. Can I make some regular bottles? Uh, okay. So what about glass? Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> I, can make, I can make a lot, man. I can make a lot. But I'll tell you what. Why don't we just grab all of that out and then uh, place it upon this place. And then, uh, you know, we, we should be able to do a lot more stuff. So glass. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. And uh, just back out, go back in. Uh, bottle. There we go. All right, so the more of these we have, the better things are going to be. 144. I don't think we're going to quite fill that quantity of freaking things. <laughs> oh, dear. But what I am wanting to make is I am wanting to make the abomination, which, as you can see, requires five honey blocks, a stinger, some hive blocks, and, of course, some bottled honey. There is a possibility that we might actually have to go down here and just see about trying to prevent the Srillers. Skrillers? 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 I don't know how actually pronounced. But uh, yeah, we may actually have to go in here because we need the hive block. So yeah. And I'm rather hoping that I won't die there because if I die there, my rage meter is going to reset all the way down to zero, which means, you know, I might have a slightly lesser chance of actually taking down Queen Bee first go. So yeah, the reason why we take it down Queen Bee on the surface, by the way, is of course, uh, there's a lot more room on the surface. And also, uh, you know, even just an expert mode, you know, the defense of her increases as you go down her health. And also her speed increases as you go down her health as well. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure about what the death mode, you know, thing will do to Queen Bee, but that's something we're going to find out, of course. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, I've already got the stingers, so all we need to do is get down to that hive and start picking up some awesome things, man. That's all we really need to do. So let's get over there. Let's get ourselves some honey, some hives, and some honey blocks, and yeah, we'll go from there. Alrighty, guys. I mean, we are next to that weird lava place now, but uh, here's the hive. Everything is looking okay. We've got ourselves a bunch of summons on us, so... All we got to do at this point is just try to survive this bad boy. And also, hopefully not accidentally summoning Queen Bee, because uh, that would that would not be very good. <laughs> that would not prove beneficial by any stretch of the imagination to our cause. So, yeah. Oh, look at all these guys, man. These guys aren't doing anything. Every time I kill them, they keep dropping their hearts. So I'm not even losing any health. Not really. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Fantastic stuff. You know what one of the most satisfying things to do is, guys? What you need to do... Oh. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 uh, uh, things have messed up here. All right, uh, can I put this on? Like, will this mean I can walk on? Oh, boy, uh, uh, this isn't good. I can no longer, uh, <laughs> I might. No, I'm sorry, man, I'm not doing it. For the simple fact I don't want to lose my rage meter, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not doing it. So, yeah. Right, where is she? Oh my god, is she actually going to come over here? <gasps> no! Oh, she's gone. I was just going to say. Holy crap! Right, uh, so that was the thing. We need to get back over there now and uh, actually start picking up some, some, of, the, some of the honey. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Accidentally summoning Queen Bee. Absolutely brilliant, man. That's what I've always wanted. Right, I tell you what, this time I kind of want to be a lot more prepared. So, what I'm going to do, we've got the hive blocks already. Uh, let's see what else we have. So, let's have a look at our potion supply. If we already have a bunch of stuff going on, then uh, I don't see a reason why we can't just go over there and do it while we're over there, right? So, if I go into here and start buying in various bits and bobs, uh, I'm going to buy like two of each. Maybe I'll try and take down two, right? That'd be a cool idea. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, buy some of this. Buy some of that. And also a tortoise potion. 
There we go. Tortoise. Boop. There we go. Fantastic. Deer blood increases damage by 5%. I mean, I could do that. I don't know if we'll be able to actually have all 10 buffs, but, uh, you know, it'd be, be kind of cool if we could. So, yeah. Anyway, so we need the stingers out of here. So, filter all. We've got 49 of them. Wow, that's pretty nuts, actually. Okay, so we've got 49 stingers. We've got the hives. We just need to get ourselves the honey blocks and the other things. And then we can actually get on with taking on Queen Bee. Let's get it done, folks. Oh, what? Well, there goes my rage meter. Brilliant! All right, come on, boys. I just want to get that honey. That's all I want to do. Oh, I wish there was a jungle teleportation potion. Wait, hang on. Let's just check. Does this guy... Where is he? Where is he? He's got dungeon teleportation potions. What about the other side? Do you have the things that I need? If I, I could just use one of these, right? Boop. And we're back, boys! Oh, God! Right, now we basically need to, like... Uh... Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Uh, uh, boof. Let's do that. Boof. Uh, no, that's what I needed. Right there. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Now we're looking good. Right. Now that we can't accidentally spawn in uh, Queen Bee, I should be able to, you know, just do a little thing here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So let's get down here. Let's try and bottle up a whole bunch of the stuff. In fact, no, we don't bottle it up, do we? This isn't a bucket. You just go like this. Yeah. 144. Right. Now then, we need to try and find some honey blocks. I mean, probably the easiest way of doing it is by uh, letting in, like, a water source and letting it get on top or something. So, if I went ahead over this side and then uh, got a whole bun bunch of water to just flow in... In fact, if I start a bit lower, then we should be able to get more water coming, right? So, yeah. That's the plan, anyway. That is the plan. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh. I wish there was an accessory that made you, uh, that made you move faster, specifically in honey. I know that you can get, like, that merfolk accessory or whatever it is, but uh, I think... I don't know if that works in uh, honey. I think it just works in water. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. In fact, in this case, I really hope I'm wrong. Anyways, come on. There you go. Honey for all. Honey for all. Honey for you. Honey for me. Honey for everyone. Get wrecked. No honey for you, though. Sorry, man. Sorry. I know I just said everyone, but uh, not you. Because you're a butt, and I don't want you here. Come on. Yeah, honey for days. And the good thing is I can make myself an absolute ton of freaking abominations now, which is really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, even if I don't take down one, I can take down other ones. I can keep using my uh, resurrection potions, get back to my death point, and just keep going, you know? That's the beauty of modded. I can do this stuff. It's so good. I actually really, really like the mods that I've got going on here. Like, like more than you guys know. Like, the amount that I've played vanilla Terraria and the amount of grinding that I've done throughout those many years. Like, after a while, it gets a little bit tiring. So, I've got all of these quality of life mods in. Like, a lot of people may consider them to be OP. But for me, it's just a nice way of being able to progress a lot faster in, uh, in Terraria. And honestly... For, for someone like me who, again, has been playing this game for a very long time, it's just a, it's just a nice relief to see that I can just do these things quickly and, uh, you know, just, just get on with things, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyways, guys, we are now heading up to the surface. We're going to make ourselves a couple platforms here and there, chuck down some campfires. You know the deal. And then we're going to get on... What the hell? What? This guy's a bit nuts. Can you, like, stop? Hey, I actually killed... Whoa. Did I really just get eight gold out of that guy? Good God. I knew that Revengeance mode boosted the amount of money you get, but that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Eight gold coins from just that dude. So can you imagine, if it, it, it'd only take, if my math is correct, like maybe 15 of those guys to get a platinum. <laughs> that, that won't take long, man. That won't take long. Anyways, like I said, let's get this arena set up. We'll take down Queen Bee, hopefully. Alrighty, guys. So here we go. We've got a nice flat area down here. And what I intend on doing is making this place look nice. Right, now, can I bone meal this? No, I can't. Okay, interesting. Well, if I just go ahead and uh, start spreading some more of this stuff while I this, and then same over here as well. Just, uh, you know, reinforce the fact that this is still a jungle. Okay, and then maybe one just over here. And can I perhaps, like, force grow some trees? Is that possible? No? Really? Can I not force grow trees? Can I can I plant acorns down here at all? Is that possible? I have no idea, but I'm going to give it a go. Ah, cool. Okay, so it looks like you can indeed place saplings down here, which is awesome. For some reason... I think it may have been in old days, Terraria, whereby you had to wait for these things to naturally grow. Like, you had to you had to just wait for the trees to just appear from nowhere. Or was that just mushroom biomes? You know what? I can't actually remember. But whatever the case may be, 
Let's get some of these bad boys grown, and we're going to do our normal arena tactic of just uh, placing a bunch of platforms in between them, put some torches on trees, because honestly, it's like one of the best looking things to do. It really, really is. And then maybe what we could do at the bottom here is put some fences down, make it look like a bit of a jungle yard, you know? Eh? Yeah, you see, we're coming up with all the plays today, my friends. All the freaking plays. There we go. Oh, mate, this is going to look absolutely banging, dude. It's going to be amazing. I like that they're not all, like, equally spaced out as well. Like, it looks a little bit more sort of natural as opposed to man-made, which, you know, even though it is, it's it's nice that it doesn't look that, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's get you growing up, and there we go. All right, and now to do the normal thing of uh, placing down a bunch of uh, placing down a bunch of platforms, rather like this. Boop! There we go. So we're going to have two layers of these platforms, and then as a result, we should be able to avoid Queen Bee's attacks fairly nicely. I mean, to be honest, this this may be complete overkill for just the Queen Bee, but you know, I mean, you know, failing that, it could wind up being an arena for a future boss. You know, the uh, what's his name? Ah, uh, Plaguebringer Goliath, and all those ones down here. Yeah, look, 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 Bumblebub, Yaren, you know, all those dudes. This might be a good, uh, this might be a good arena eventually for those, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna continue on with this, and then we're actually gonna t start taking down Queen Bee, hopefully. Oh, yeah, now another traveling merchant arrives, yeah! <laughs> Has to be one I'm building an arena way over the other side of the world, huh? Yeah, freaking butt! Why you do this, man? Why, why you, why you choose inopportune times? I don't understand. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, well, all is good. Guys, we're nearly done with this arena, so, you know, we can actually make a bit of a start in just a sec. Ooh, goblin scouts. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, a godly wolf from slime was just taken out of the game. I mean, that's cool. Thanks. Thank you, dank memes. I love you. All right, come on, boys. Let's continue on. Let's keep going. Let's get one up there, one down there, one down here. We'll just keep the light going. It's all about bringing light to the world. That's what I'm trying to do here. So, and obviously, so you guys can see. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so let's get one on there, and then probably one on here. And then I think we're just about good. I think we're just about good, guys. Wow, this guy's quick. Wow, that bat was kind of insane. Anyways, guys, we are just about there. Is there any, like, spaces where the... Uh, whatever, let's just chuck that down there so I've got an inventory space back there. We go, looking good. Uh, I've got all of these banners I want to kind of place down as well. Uh, so how about we go ahead... Let's dig out that one and let's maybe start placing them in there. I mean, yeah, it's only going to give us, like, one side of the arena, uh, you know, the buffs. Uh, but, you know, all is good. Should I put this on? Yeah, look at me now. I've got an archaeologist sat on. This is amazing. Amazing, guys. Amazing, I tell you. And I'll tell you what else is amazing. Look at the amount of abominations I managed to make out of the stuff that I had. I put them back at base, uh, you know, since making these. But, uh, yeah, 21. That's uh, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> We've got 21 chances of taking down the, uh, the, the Queen Bee. And I don't think we're going to need that many. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, buffing up. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Bada boom, bada beanie, the Queen Bee is awakey. Go, go, go. Hello, good sir. All right. It is time for some of this. You know what? I'm kind of thinking I might be able to fairly easily... Oh, it's just a regular Queen Bee as well. Okay, cool. I mean, that's kind of cool. Look at this. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, she... Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is where this thing comes in, right? In fact, no. What about this? How does the trade wins? Not bad, not bad. Okay. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, God. Let's be careful, boys. All right. She's already doing the mad dash again. The mad queen bee who is probably having a bit of a sugar rush right about now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Adrenaline meter nearly full. Mate, this is going to be easy as hell, dude. Oh, oh, mate. She, it doesn't take her long to start dashing, huh? Good God. Right. And boom. Go, 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 uh, well, that nearly killed her. I think I wasted about half of that adrenaline rush, though, sadly. But, uh, do you know what? I don't think it's... Ah! Ah! Oh! Hang on a minute. She's gone a bit nuts here. Ah! No! What? 247 health! Wow! She just took me out of the game real quick. She didn't take it... Oh, she took some money. You scumbag little... Uh... All right, you want to play like that, do you? You know, you know what I'm going to do real quick? We're about to do this thing again. We've got resurrection potions. We can use them to our advantage. And good goddamn, am I going to do that? It's a superior one! Oh, God! Oh, my God, she's massive! <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell? All right, we've got a bit more of an endurance fight this time, my friends. But I'm kind of hoping that... <laughs> 
Oh my word! Yeah, she's she's a bit insane. She's got like a machine gun. What the crap, man? What the crap? Okay. Hello. Hi. Oh! <laughs> this is insane. This is insane, bro. Okay. Okay. Ah! Uh, okay. Adrenaline nearly full, boys. Oh, don't get hurt. <laughs> She's absolutely massive, bro. What the hell? All right. Boom, boom, boom. Go, 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 go. Kill her with absolute ease. Go, go, go. She's nearly done. She's got 3,000 health left. Even though she's a much more buffed up queen bee, but still not having that much issue trying to take her down. Ah! Ah! She's going to sign! Okay. Super dash! Super dash! Okay. This is... <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. Ah! No! Oh! I Ow! I can figure out I don't have healing potions. Well, this kind of sucks. Ow! Ah! No, come on. Come on. Come on, Brosif. Okay. Okay. Ah! Okay. No, not like this. Not like this. Not again. <laughs> Come on. No. Ah, oh, 400. <laughs> oh, my God. This is madness. Did you take mini? Oh, she took my money again. Man, what a gold digger, man. That is so rude. She only wants me for my money, bro. I'm not about that life. You know what I'm saying? That's just beyond rude. I'll tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but you know what like I, I I genuinely believe we will not have any trouble actually taking it down So uh, you know, we're, we're, we're just gonna buy this stuff. We're gonna get back over there and kick some ass Yeah, well, I want that I want that deer blood again. Boop. There we go more damage is good damage You know what I'm saying right? Let's go ahead and uh, let's do this again. Hopefully <laughs> Hopefully we can do a wee bit better this time, huh? We can actually defeat her. We got, I mean, despite the fact she was, like, superior, we got her down to a really low amount of health. Buffing up. Let's get this thing rolling again, boys. Oh, my word. All right. Boom. Away we go. Oh, hello. It's another superior one. Oh, my word. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to have my clouds down the previous occasion, huh? Yeah, that may have been one of the reasons why I didn't do so well. Yeah, go on, Flare Frost. Go on, Flare Frost. It's all you, buddy. It's all you. Right, now, if I can... Uh, oh, my word. Ow! If I can get my adrenaline up, we might be in for a good chance here. But, uh... Ah! As long as she's doing a machine gun tactic, it ain't gonna work. Because it's gonna be very, very difficult to try and avoid her attacks. There we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, and there she goes. Right, she's really slow. What the hell? She is very slow. I just realized I forgot to buy health poachers as well. Come on, Python, you big Oh, no, here we go again. Yeah! Oh, no, 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 no. I really wish I had a bazaar right about now. Dude, is it actually possible to, like, not take damage from this phase? Like, it's kind of nuts. All right. Here she goes again. Uh, Dashing through the jungle. All right. Come on. Come on. Away you go. Away you go. All right, let's replenish the- Ah! Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to take it down this time. What the hell is this? Marked. Damage reduction reduced. That's pretty interesting. Okay, and off she goes again. Okay, come on. I feel like I should be using this thing instead. Come on. Don't give me the machine bow area, man. I don't need the machine stingers. Oh, the machine stingers! Ah! Okay. Machine stingers are kind of insane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Okay, well, at least I uh, deflected that one. I'm kind of okay. Can you, like, stop? Ah, oh, and there goes the adrenaline. Ah, oh, god crap. All right, come on, man. Come on. We got this. We got this. Come on, Queen Bee. Come on, you freaking Bee Queen of Beenus. I don't like you, man. I don't like you at all. You freaking butthead. Boop. Let's do that. That's probably not going to do anything for us, but hey-ho. I mean, there's worse things. Hello. Come on. Come on. Got 100 health left. And still no healing. <laughs> oh, man. I think the only way we've been actually able to heal... Ow, oh, goddammit, why did I do that? I think the only way we've actually been able to heal is by her summoning in her little... Ah, oh, her little bees! Okay. Ah, oh, machine stingers! I don't like it, man. I don't like the machine stingers. It's kind of insane. But, you know... Ah! Okay. we got, like, 30 health left. I don't... I think this is going to be a dud, sadly. Yeah. Maybe I should have just worked on trying to get my adrenaline up at the start. In all honesty, that probably would have been a good idea. 
But, uh, you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? I'm going to die any second now, probably of poison. Oh, dear. And away we go. Yep. Oh, yeah, that was a bad one. That was a bad one. Come on, guys. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I want to get this thing done. Come on, Queen Bee. I'm taking you down this time, buddy. There's no there's no denying it. There's no getting away from it. You might be superior, but not for long, buddy, because this time I actually have freaking heels on me. <laughs> so, yeah, I've actually come prepared this time, which, you know, to be quite frank, I should have done before. Ah! 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 Stop! Stop, 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 stop. Come on, 900 health. Got it this time, man. Come on. We must do. She's only got 400. Come on. Just get killed and accept it. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. You got absolutely pwned and stuff. And wow, that actually took a fair while. Holy crap. <laughs> well, we did it, my friends. I'll tell you something. I, uh, I vastly underestimated Queen Bee, I'm not gonna lie. That machine stinger attack that she has is kind of insane. I don't actually know if there's a way of actually avoiding that attack. Like, when she starts shooting them at you, like, no matter what you do. I mean, unless you've got, like, a super, super wide arena where you can just run away from them. If you try to dash back towards it, you're not gonna avoid them unless you're super lucky. But anyways, we're looking good. We've got ourselves some more lore. And actually, talking about the lore, I did miss out some lore previously, which I think, yeah, was the hive mind. A hive of clustered microbial infected flesh. Sadly, I do not believe killing it will lessen the corruption here. And then, of course, we've got Queen Bee here. As crude as the giant insects are, they can provide useful... The, oh, they can prove useful in certain situations, given the ability to control them. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, there we go. We've got a shadow diamond as well. What is this thing actually used for? Uh, a storage crafting interface. Uh, what? That's interesting, because none of these actually say they require shadow diamonds. Huh. Okay. Well, anyways, let's open this bad boy up. We have ourselves the beekeeper, albeit a bad one. The hive pack is pretty useful, and of course the bee nades, as you guys well know, are very, very useful indeed. So, let's have a look. We've got honeydew. Uh, we haven't got the bazaar, and we don't have a bee, uh, an anvil, sorry. So, yeah. Hornet staff. I mean, to be honest, I think maybe the next thing I make... If I just head down here real quick and, uh, you know, like, like, chuck some stuff away. Uh, extremely weak knockback. Uh, yeah, 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 that's all good. Well, let's get you placed in there. You, you, you. Uh, resurrection potions. Nah, you, 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 and you, and a you, and one, two, three, four. What do we get? Ice skates and a crimson rod. Not bad. Okay, cool. So... Hive pack, as we know, is very, very useful uh, if we wanted to be, you know, Lord of the Bees again. Which, you know, it's always tempting to do because it's actually kind of fun. But, uh, yeah, I mean, aside from that, we're looking pretty good. Is this thing a material? I don't actually think it is. Let's bring that over there. Uh, yeah, it's not material. Okay, fair enough. I mean, we could always reforge it, but I'm not entirely sure about actually, like going out of my way to use it. I mean, it is pretty good, but I always find that when I obtain it, there's always a weapon that's already sort of outshadowed it. Or then again, we could always get a legendary beekeeper, which does um, a lot of damage. Oh, mate, that is a hell of a lot of damage. 39? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that will just about wrap it up for today's episode. Although before we do, I did just say that I wanted to do something. Imp staff. We can make it. Let's do it. There we go. It's right there. Fantastic stuff. And uh, talking of Hellstone stuffs, Din Dane, before we end up the episode, says to get Hellstone really easily, you can buy ash from the architect and then use it in the extractinator, which gives you meteorite and Hellstone. You are absolutely correct. The reason why I didn't do that in the last episode is because I wanted to actually get down to hell just to say that we've gone down there and mined some up in the legitimate sense, you know. But from now on, yeah, we'll definitely be going ahead and uh, using the ash blocks we could just buy. So, yeah. Yeah, that's really, really cool. And, you know, it goes back to what I was saying before about, you know, the fact that I've played this game for such a long time and, you know, uh, being able to reduce the grind is actually, you know, quite nice. You know, it's really, really good. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, a bunch of meteorite, a bunch of hellstone, very, very good way of getting it. And we could just continue to get it from the freaking architect. So, yeah, guys, anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Like I said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, a big fat thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, folks. And, uh, yeah. Again, a thousand likes and the next episode will be out tomorrow. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.